Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good golly, Miss Molly. Just thought I'd uh, make a little short video for today's thrift shore, uh, thrift shore, something you find at the sea, thrift store hall. I managed to persuade my uh, misbehaving back to allow me to get out of the house briefly and go and look through some stuff. And it's always great to find some some really neat stuff in a charity or a thrift store and um, to get that, to help build up the physical media collection again, because that's very important these days, the way that digital stuff uh, is susceptible to all sorts of um, issues. So what did I get today? Um, very exciting stuff, this but you know. Uh, so uh, f first of all, I, I don't mind buying DVDs in these uh, circumstances. Um, you know, a lot of people with the 4K now are loath to get a, an old DVD. Hell, I've even bought VHSs recently. Um, and Blu-rays for sure getting, you know. So um, usually I'm looking for things like collector's editions or ultimate editions or something special or something quite uh, difficult to find uh, in other ways. So this isn't difficult to find. I've got multiple copies of First Blood already, but this is the DV uh, DVD Ultimate Edition. And if you're only paying a couple of bucks, well worth getting. So it's in the sleeve, which is always uh, worth looking for. He never fought a battle he couldn't win. So yeah, pretty good, uh, pretty good shape, you know, given it's an old DVD. So quite pleased with that one. I'll sit alongside the other variety of copies of that movie I have because it's one of the best ever. Uh, I'm going through the DVDs here first. So I also managed to pick up for again for dirt cheap a brand new. It was in the wrapper. I've taken it out of the wrapper. Brand new um, DVD of for a few dollars more. Obviously, Clint classic spaghetti western classic. Uh, so brand new. Um, and, you know, I mean, I know a lot of people are, are f look for the fidelity in the picture, but I don't even have a 4K TV, so it's, it's going to look pretty good to me. Um, something I look for is these um, DVD collections, so things like the five-star double-disc collections. So, again, I've got multiple copies of Die Hard already on various formats, but this this I didn't have, the uh, the double-disc double, double disc Die Hard uh, with a lot of bonus features on the uh, second disc. Um, so always, this is in the packaging where it's actually in two two pieces, which I find interesting, a little booklet there, with the second side being it like so. So, yeah, that'll sit alongside the other diehards, um, but still didn't have that particular one. But also, there was the special edition... Uh, of Die Hard with a Vengeance, um, which actually didn't have a physical. Well, I have got one physical copy of on a Blu-ray on a Blu-ray set. Um, they did have a Die Hard two on the shelf, but it was pretty torn up, so I didn't bother. This was again almost in practical new condition. Die Hard with a Vengeance, fun, fun movie. Probably my second favorite Die Hard next to the first one. Um, so yeah, nice, uh, nice addition to the shelf. Um, one of my favorite movies of all time, uh, is the magnificent independence day. Um, just I mean, who doesn't love seeing all those buildings and cities getting blown up by aliens and who doesn't love the, uh, the glorious ending and who doesn't love the president's speech in it. Magnificent movie. Bill Pullman's speech, brilliant. So the double disc five star collection of that is um, again. I've got multiple copies of this, so <laughs> probably shouldn't have. But uh, but there were a few Blu-rays too. Um, one that I, I've also already got in Blu-ray is the two disc Iron Man with a different. Um, but this one had the sleeve, which I didn't have in my existing copy, uh, with this cover. I did have a different uh, version of the cover, which just which just had this image on the front of the Blu-ray itself. This, uh, whereas this one's got the uh, that one, as it were. So, yeah, I already had it in Blu-ray, the two-disc edition. But what the hell, it's different. It's got the sleeve and a different cover. So, 
back in the days when Marvel were good. Then what days? So um, you can uh, also got a bit of Ghost Rider goodness on Blu-ray. Um, I don't know what I, I love this movie and I, and the follow-up. Um, we've got both on Blu-ray now, so extended cut. You can never get enough Nick Nicholas Cage Ghost Rider. So extended cut of that on Blu-ray, which is nice to get. And legend. So I'm a big Ridley Scott fan. Not everything he's done, but generally speaking, and throughout my life, uh, since he started making movies, uh, I've been a big fan. And to Tony Scott was magnificent. Sadly missed. This is the uh, director's cut of Legend, the ultimate edition in pristine condition. So very happy to add that to the shelf because I didn't have a physical copy of that. And finally, um, I enjoyed the Red movies a lot. And um, I thought I'd pick this up in Red too, principally because it's got uh, the magnificent Korean actor uh, Lee Byung-hun, I know I'm not pronouncing that correctly, and uh, who's in a lot of great stuff in Korea, but also has done Western movies like uh, G.I. Joe. Um, but I enjoyed these. These movies were a lot of fun. So I picked that up on Blu-ray, principally because of Lee Byung-hun. Lee Byung-hun. Um, yeah, so that was it. Not a bad little haul for one day. Got to clear some more shelf space to put those on and that was really all i wanted to say i hope you're all having a great weekend um monday july the 10th on that 70s rock chan chan channel uh, i don't know what's wrong with the tongue today that 70s rock fan channel monday july 10th 3 p.m will be canon film club and we're doing cyborg we've done lots of prep for this so this should be a lot of fun uh so until then, hope you have a great weekend. See you all soon. Stay well and keep on rocking.